For years, those who live along Jenkins Drive say they've had to battle constant high water. Now saying it's getting out of hand and something needs to be done. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Klein spoke to neighbors on Charleston's Jenkins Drive who say last Thursday's flooding took a big piece away from their life. Hannah? Neighbors tell me the flooding is getting worse every time it storms. And this time, the water preventing first responders from arriving and a life tragically lost. It's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. Exactly one week ago, Kimberly Parsons got a phone call around 7 o'clock that her brother Rick Slater was unresponsive. Kimberly grabbed her keys and drove through heavy rain and water to his home to see what she could do to help. While waiting on first responders to arrive, Kimberly and her family started performing CPR. Maybe around 20 minutes later, my mom started screaming more, why aren't they here, why aren't they here? So I called them back and they told me that the ambulance couldn't make it through the water. It was too deep for them to get through and that the fire department had been dispatched to help. Paramedics were battling feet of water and debris pouring down Jenkins Drive. While 58-year-old Rick Slater was trapped on the one-way road fighting for his life. 50 minutes later, first responders arrived on a side-by-side -side and Rick was pronounced dead. They may have been able to, you know, use their defibrillator and shocked his heart back. I mean, there's, there's all these what ifs now and I just, it's not fair and I, I don't want it to happen to any other family in this neighborhood. Jenkins Drive does not lie on a floodplain, but Kimberly says the cause of the extreme flooding could be from a retaining wall and drain pipes that have collapsed, which she says causes holes in the road, standing water and now the loss of a family member. Some neighbors say when it rains their trap for days while others are unable to turn home until the water dries out. All us neighbors have called the DOH. They have came out numerous times. They have, you know, contacted the homeowners. We've had the Canal County Commission come out and speak to us and they said they couldn't help us because we don't live in city limits. While flooding season is just a few months away in West Virginia, families like the Parsons say they're still asking for help before this happens to someone else's loved one. He was was um, a wonderful son and brother. He just took care of his family and we miss him terribly. I reached out to the Department of Transportation for comment. They said they're looking into the issue. Live in the studio, Hannah Klein, Eyewitness News.